Today I'll be doing a case study involving my wife's FX35 and what we can understand using CAN in a raw form. We're having an issue where I expect it to be a wheel speed sensor and all of the OBD2 codes are clear. There is no codes being thrown and there is no issue being found. But if you look on the dash, you'll see that there is lots of dot lights being displayed associated with the ABS system, the traction control system, and the all-wheel drive system. Let's see what we can find. All right, so we're currently in the car and I'm gonna connect my can sniffer to the car using a handful of commands and then we're gonna analyze the information being received on the network in raw form. Open this up. So, IP link set up can zero type can bit rate 500,000 type in my password can zero T zero H five L two capital B C. Cool. So these are all the arbitration IDs that are on the CAN bus that I'm connected to. If they are standard IDs, it does not show extended IDs in this information, but that's all right. I'm going to start the car and we're going to see if we can find wheel speed sensors. What I'm typically looking for when I see or expect to see a wheel speed sensor, it's probably going to take up two bytes, which is two of these uh, segments of eight zeros and ones, right? So we'll see what we can find. I'm just going to drive the car back and forth just to see if I can find those those values so I can start assessing and say, all right, well, we, we found the wheel speed sensors. Do I see three of them like I expect to or not, you know? So we start the car. Right. I'm going to scoot it back. All right, and then it stopped. And we're gonna scoot forward and stopped. We're gonna go backwards again. All right, so, so IDs 284 and 285 are really standing out to me when I'm moving and stopping. So I'm gonna type in minus 000000 to clear the screen and then type plus 284 and then plus 285, all right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can increase the size of this too. All right, so we're gonna look at the first four bytes, which is the first four segments of zeros and ones. They're currently all at zero. I'm gonna slowly roll back and we'll see what we find. Slowly rolling back, okay? So you can see that the we have essentially three segments that kind of line up with each other, right? And that fourth one, which would be ID 284 and the first and second byte, those appear to not have any information being moved. So my assumption is, is whichever wheel is connected to the wheel speed, I would expect it to be the first and second byte at 284, that wheel speed sensor has failed. So I'm gonna jack the car up, we're gonna move one wheel at a time and we're gonna see if we can find which corner is that corner that we're looking for. All right, so I have the front driver's side wheel in the air and we're gonna start moving it to see if we see any data change. Moving it forward. Moving it backward, forward and backward. So we can see that that first packet, the third and fourth byte, short data. And we're looking for the first and second byte. Since I'm moving the front driver's side wheel, the front left wheel, and I'm seeing the message change, but we're finding that our problem area is also in that same message ID. I expect it to be the front passenger wheel because typically you'll see that message IDs have, if there's wheel speeds and you have them on two different packets, one packet will be the front wheels, one packet will be the rear wheels. So I'm gonna check the front passenger side and see what we find. All right, so we're over at the passenger wheel. I'm gonna move it forward, move it backward, move it forward, move it backward. There's no data to be found. I think I found my problem wheel. So now I get to assess and work on the wheel speed sensor here. If you're interested in understanding more about this, but don't know where to start, High Performance Academy has a great, great course designed for people to get up and running and understanding how to reverse engineer signals off of a vehicle's CAN bus system. I'll have a link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate all your feedback, whether good or bad. And tell me more about what you want to learn about. If there's something I can help you with, Please comment in the description below.